Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. Kicking off the Bible for busy people today with a few words from the Lord God himself. I'm Erica, your host, and I want to welcome you. Thank you for creating a space for God. You know, he will fill that space with something meaningful. Every single time you open your heart, you open your schedule to him. We are talking about the Lord, our protector this week. This is one of his names. Last time we talked about how the Lord is the shade at your right hand and my right hand. Today, we're going to talk about how the Lord is our shield. Maybe you have some questions in your heart today. You're not alone. Let's talk about Abram, who we just referenced moments ago in Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. The Lord came to Abram. This is before he was Abraham. And in that moment, Abram was full of questions in his heart. He was thinking to himself, the Lord promised to give me this land to possess, but How do I know that it's going to happen? The Lord promised to give me a son, but I don't see a son. My wife isn't pregnant. And that's how the Lord responded to Abram. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. And I want to say to you, if you have a heart full of questions today, and I've got a couple rolling around my heart, remember those same words. God is telling you today, do not be afraid. I am your shield. What does that mean? I am your very great reward. What does that mean? Let's dive into these truths today. Join me now in Psalm 5. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Okay, let me pitch a small tent here right at the beginning of this passage. Imagine yourself holding a shield, right? You are taking refuge in that shield. When the fiery darts come, and we're going to talk about those in moments, you have a refuge. You have a place to hide. It's in the Lord God. When you feel overwhelmed by life, drowning in troubles, in heartache, the Lord wants to be your refuge. He is your shield, your very great reward, and you don't have to be afraid. Back to Psalm 5 now. Spread your protection over them that all who love your name may be filled with joy. For you bless the godly, O Lord. You surround them with your shield of love. You know, often when you think of the word surrounded, you think of bad guys, right? Somebody is surrounded and they have no weapon. God is surrounding you right now with his love, the shield of his love. You're surrounded on all sides by the unfailing love of the Lord. And when he tells Abraham, I am your very great reward, he is saying, I want you to feel my love. I want you to be filled with joy in my presence. Take refuge in me. The Lord is your protector. He surrounds you with his shield of love. Okay, let's flip a few pages now to Psalm 18, verse 30. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. So let's study some of those promises that we just referenced. Psalm 91 now, beginning in verse 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. So not only are you surrounded by the unfailing love of the Lord, but his faithfulness too. He is your shield in this world where every day the fiery darts are flying at us, whether it's a thought that comes from our own evil heart. You know, the Bible actually says the heart is deceitful and beyond cure. Thank you. That's why Jesus came to save us 
from our own evilness. Is that a word? It's why he came to save because we needed a savior. So whether the fiery dart comes as a thought from your own evil heart or mind, or if it comes from the legitimate enemy that we have and we are warned of in the Bible, or whether it comes from a circumstance in your life, you have a shield. It is the Lord himself. I am your shield. This is powerful. I want to wrap up our time together today in Ephesians chapter 6, beginning in verse 10. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You, my friend, are not helpless. You are equipped. Yes, you have problems. Yes, we just learned the fiery darts from the enemy are gonna fly, but you've got a shield of faith and you've got the Lord himself. He is surrounding you with his unfailing love and faithfulness. Yeah, you've got problems. I've got problems, but we've got a shield. The Lord himself. Yes, you are loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.